Hello, Delmar students. Uh, welcome back to the new year 2022. I would like to take this time to introduce a very important topic as we move into the new year and a new semester um, around self-care. So we are going to look together at a short presentation on self-care, teen edition. And um, you know, as you're viewing the video, just kind of be thinking about what self-care looks like for you, what's important to you, and what you would like to do more of. Um, so here we go. So I like to say that I was like, you know, there's like two mental breakdowns a year, <laughs> like one every semester, easy money. <laughs> it's just like you get kind of worn out all the time from just like nonstop work. My name is Angel Harris. I'm Lucy. My friends call me Sebi. My name is Christian Busio. My name is Mia, and I'm a sophomore in 10th grade. So I'm in Pace, which is like a college prep program. You're surrounded by like super smart people. You're in like a super smart program. I think I, I definitely put a lot of pressure on myself. The most stressful thing is keeping up in all my classes because I have a lot of problems making blood cells and my bone marrow just doesn't produce that much. Sometimes when I do miss a day, it can seem like I missed a whole week. Este año is muy pesado para decir porque necesitamos encontrar un colegio y nosotros lo tenemos que hacer nosotros mismos porque no hay nadie que nos pueda ayudar para escoger cuál colegio queremos esa decisión es de nosotros you see everyone else like applying to colleges already turning in their applications and yet i know that i can't exactly do that because um, for me, my option is community college because it's something that I know I can pay for myself. My dad already explained to me how he can't pay for it. I, I didn't expect him to. Stress to me is parents fighting. When I'm in school, I see other kids who sometimes deal with the same thing where their parents just aren't getting along. And I'm like, I'm in the same boat with you guys. There's going to be come to a point where I have to choose. Am I going to be with my mom for the rest of my life or am I going to be with my dad for the rest of my life? And I, I'm not looking forward to that decision. Pues, es un gran con peso en mis, en mis hombros también porque nadie en mi familia ha ido a colegio. So, yo y mi hermanita chiquita vamos a ser los primeros, pero yo especialmente porque yo ya voy a entrar. It's like I have to take a step back or just like cry it out a little <laughs> every now and then. But just because it's like you shouldn't be able or you shouldn't have to handle that pressure. So I think self-care for me, it's like, okay, I'm going to watch a show on Netflix after school because I can take my mind away from anything that's happened during the day. A group of four three friends that I hang out with and we always go do something over the weekends two of them are in the same situation as me and they know what it's like and so we, we always talk about oh it's okay you just gotta get through the next day and then you get through that week and the month and the year of course when I, I don't always have my friends around working out is for sure a great thing for me it helps clear my mind think about other things or if I need to think about what's stressing me out Three years ago when I got sick, I was by myself a lot, so it was just something fun, treating myself, getting my nails done, getting a facial, because if you look nice on the outside, it helps you feel a lot better inside. a good way for me to make myself at ease with myself because I know that there's somebody who's greater than everything that's going on right now. Usually I'll close my eyes and just kind of talk in my head like, God, I'm, I'm in a stressful situation right now. I don't know what's going to happen in the next few days, but whatever it is, can you guide me through it? Es más fácil, muy más fácil para hablar con mi perro que hablando con mis, mis padres o con mis amigos. Le digo cosas como, 
¿Qué voy a hacer, Fari? Dime qué hacer, Fari. ¿Qué colegio agarro? Porque a veces si le digo a mi mamá que no me siento bien o que me siento deprimido, ella, ella no, no entiende o, o no quiere entender. Yo me imagino que no entiende porque si le digo que me siento triste, ella nomás va a decir, oh, ve con tus amigos o oh, es porque estás aburrido o oh, haz que hacer porque estás aburrido. Pero el buddy es más fácil porque él no me va a decir nada, él nomás me escucha, me entiende y ahí está para que lo abrace. We all face stresses in life, schoolwork, relationships, family conflicts, money issues, health problems, exams, the list goes on and on. So how can we deal with them? How do we become more resilient? Resilience has two important roles. It prevents stress by helping us stay calm and feel more balanced. It also helps us lessen feelings of stress when challenging situations come up. Self-care is a really important part of becoming resilient. Some people find it easy and it comes almost naturally to them. But for some of us, it's a little bit harder and we have to remind ourselves to do it on a daily basis. As we just saw, we all have different ways of taking care of ourselves. Some talk to friends, others exercise, watch show, some pray, get comfort from pets, or might practice self-care by getting their nails done. What works for you? You can also ask friends what works for them to give you more ideas for taking care of yourself. The key is to find out what works for you and make self-care part of your everyday life, just like brushing your teeth. Self-care is what we call a lifestyle, but good news is you'll be able to rely on it forever. The earlier you start working on it and the more you practice, the easier it will be to make it a habit. This will be very helpful as you get older and face new challenges in life. Take care of yourself. You deserve it. And remember, if you're someone you know is struggling and needs support right away, please call 1-800-273-8255 or 1-800-273-TALK or text HOME to 741-741. So just a quick self-care recap. Self-care can mean watching a favorite show or video or a movie, doing something safe and fun with your friends, exercising or going for a walk, talking with others who, who support you, doing your hair, makeup, painting your nails, utilizing your spiritual practice, and spending time with a pet. Here are some more additional tips to develop your self-care and your self-care habits. So if you have a few minutes, check them out. Check out the links. And remember, information shared here is not a substitute for seeking help from a licensed mental health professional. And Dons, if you need anything while you're at school, please make an appointment at the Wellness Center with me, Mrs. B. And we'll see you next month. <laughs>